Hi there, it's Chris Betcher here, and I want to show you a neat little tool that was just released recently for screen capturing on Chrome. Now, the beauty of that is it means you can screen capture if you're just using a Chromebook, which is something I know the Chromebook community has been after for quite a while. Let me show you how it works. So this uh, uh, extension is called Screencastify. So let's just open a new tab and go to the Apps uh, page here, click on Store. And there's a number of ways you could get to the store. This is just one of them. So I'm just going into the store here and I'm searching for something called Screencastify. Now when I search that, you'll see it shows up here. It's an extension. Um, I'm, I'm not actually sure who's made this uh, and I'm actually waiting for some nice official ones. But in the meantime, this one seems like it does a reasonably good job. Uh, click on the, the little button there, blue button. Uh, give it permission. And it will install... And there you go. So what I now have is a button up here in my extensions uh, bar here, and it's telling me that Screen Recorder is set up. And uh, it's as simple as that. Now let me just show you how it works. So let's just say I want to record this, this um, tab here to show you something that's happening on the screen. I can click this button, and it opens up, and you can capture either a tab or the desktop. Now it says the desktop is experimental. Um, I'm on a 27 inch screen here, so I'm not going to risk that. I'm just going to record this tab. But do be aware that if you are recording something and you click a button and it opens a new tab, then it won't automatically switch to the new tab. So uh, try and keep your screen captures within the same tab. Um, you can also uh, change in here the settings, the, the size of the tab, the resolution, the number of frames per second. Uh, 10 is usually pretty good, whether you want to show the mouse cursor or not. And down here, it's telling you which part of the audio you can record. So you can record either uh, no audio at all, or the audio coming out of the tab, or the microphone. Um, I guess that's a slight disadvantage, so if you wanted to um, play a, record something that had audio in it coming from the, uh, the page, while you talked over it, you can't really do that. You have to choose one or the other. Let's just go with microphone for now. Now, I don't know how this will work because I'm actually screen capturing this with Camtasia so I can show you this, but um, we'll see how we go. Uh, now, I've made all my settings. I click Start Recording. And it's now recording, and I can just do something like if I search for, I'll say, screencasting. And it does a search. And so I'm just simply capturing my, my screen here. If I click on a link, it opens another page. And that's all being captured by Screencastify. When I'm done, I click the little button and say stop recording. And you can see it's here, so I might just uh, rename that, call that uh, my test, just like so. Now, to play back that video, I click up here and simply click on its name. And you see. And it's now recording, and I can just do something like if I search for. So, what you're hearing now is the original recording. And it does a search, and so I'm just simply capturing my, my screen here. If I click on a link, it opens another page, and that's all being captured by Screencastify. Uh, I can delete it if it's no good. Uh, interestingly, I can export the video file, um, but the one I'm really interested in here is Upload to YouTube. And if you click Upload to YouTube, then it will open this dialog here, ask you which account you want to log into, and then... Um, upload directly to YouTube. You can set it to default to being uh, private or public. So there you go, Screencastify, a really neat tool. That's, uh, I know, something that a lot of us have been wanting to do for a long time. Um, and while there are certainly other better, more powerful tools to do screencasting, such as uh, Camtasia Studio, um, being able to do it on a Chromebook, uh, where, where basically, if it doesn't work in Chrome, it doesn't work, uh, there's a really neat solution.